Hi, my name is Mary Helen from Naples Botanical Garden, and today I'm going to show you how to upcycle those plastic grocery bags and turn them into a beautiful plant hanger, just like this. Let's get started. For this project, you'll need four plastic grocery bags, a pair of scissors, a hook, I'll be using an S-hook, a measuring tape, and a plant in a five inch pot. To begin, we'll need to transform our plastic bags into plastic pieces of rope. We'll do that by cutting off the bottom and the handles of our plastic bags and then cutting the middle section into fourths. Once you cut your plastic bag, go ahead and throw out the handle and the seam. We won't be needing them anymore. But we will be needing these four strips. If you measure with your measuring tape, you'll see that each of these are going to be around 17 to 18 inches. That's what you'll need to make a 24 inch long plant hanger. If yours are bigger or smaller because you use different types of bags, you may need to cut extra strips out in order to make a plant hanger that's long enough. We'll need to loop all four of these sections together. And we'll do that for each bag. So we have four plastic ropes at the end of this. What you'll do is you'll start by taking your loop and you can lay it on the table. And then you'll take a second loop and lay that right on top of the loop that's already on the table. You'll pull the bottom loop through, so about half of it is coming through the um, loop that's laying on top. And you'll actually put it right through itself and you'll pull tight. So now your two pieces of plastic are connected. And you'll do that for the other two pieces of plastic too until you have a piece of plastic rope that is four sections long. We now have four 68 inch long plastic ropes. So what we'll do is fold them in half and line up their ends so they're, they're all pretty much even. Some of them may be a little longer than others. And in folding them in half, we'll actually find their center. And we'll want to create a little loop knot, so this will be the top of our hanger that we can put our hook through. So what you'll want to do is grab the center like this and get your two fingers out so we can actually wrap our loop around our two fingers. And as you can see, I, now my fingers are wrapped around the loop. I can put that in between my two fingers and I can pull it through and pull it tight. Since I only am using a small S hook, I don't need my opening here to be too big, but enough for my hook to get through. So as you can see, my fingers going through it, I now have a hook at the top of my hanger for my plant to hang from. Now it's time to start tying knots to finish our plant hanger. If you have a friend with you, it's helpful if they can hold the top so you can make your knots. If you're socially distancing like I am, a coat hanger can be just as helpful. I'm gonna take this top hanging part and clip it into my coat hanger just like this so it can keep my project still while I'm working. Next, we're going to measure down about 10 or 12 inches. All right, now that I know roughly where that is, I'm gonna start tying off pairs of plastic rope. So you'll get two pieces two sections just like this, and you're gonna tie them together almost like you would tie off a balloon at the end. It's a very similar knot to how I made my hanging section. So you'll take your two fingers, place them on the rope, take your two sections and wrap it around your finger. So now you can see my finger is wrapped around this piece of plastic. And then you can take the tail and put it right through your fingers and pull that through at around the 10 inch mark. And you can push up or down to tighten your knot like that. And you'll do that with the remaining pairs. So you'll wanna take two uh, sections and go around, tie your knots at the same level until each pair has been tied together. Now that you've tied your four knots, we're going to tie another knot. You'll take two of your sections, and as you can see, each section now has two separate tails. We're going to take two pieces, just like this, 
and take two of their tails and we're going to knot them together just a few inches below, I would say around two inches. And it's gonna be the same knot that we've been making. And after you knot their adjacent pieces, it'll start to look like this, almost like an M shape. And now we'll take another piece down. It has two tails as well. And we'll knot this tail with the tail And we'll do that until we form a circle. And you can see how this is coming together. So we'll take one more piece and you can see I'm gonna tie my two adjacent tails together just a few inches below. You wanna make sure all of these knots are about the same level. And now I'm going to tie my two outside um, tails together. So I have two tails left and I'm going to tie those together in exactly the same knot that we've been doing. And now we'll repeat that process below. One more time, just a few inches underneath so we have three tiers of knots. Once you have your three tiers of knots finalized, you want to make one last loop knot at the very bottom just tying all of your pieces together. This will create a nice, safe basket for our potted plant to hang out in. We've tied our bottom loop off and we are ready to insert our potted plant. If you have a potted plant that has some overflowing characteristics like this one, you wanna be careful when inserting your plant into your plant hanger so you don't damage any of the fragile pieces that are hanging off. So what I'm gonna do is insert this just in the top like so, unclip it from my coat hanger, which I don't need anymore. And now I have a beautiful plant hanger. You can take your S hook or whatever hook you're going to use, thread it through the top, and now you're ready to hang your plant outside or inside, wherever you choose to put it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you stay planted.